What is up, guys? Welcome back to Wildcast. Hope you all doing well out there. In this video, we're going to be talking about another crypto bro going down in flames after defrauding 170 people and stealing their money through a pyramid scheme that he did, stealing their Bitcoin and Ethereum. So two days ago, we talked about Eddie Alexander being indicted by the Justice Department for his involvement in a similar scheme where he uh, tricked people into giving him money, promising all kinds of returns. In the end, he was not uh, he was not going to live up to those uh, promises. He knew he wasn't going to live up to those promises. And uh, he was simply indicted, so he hasn't uh, decided to either go to trial or take a plea. But in the case of uh, Jeremy Spence here, Jeremy Spence decided to plead guilty and uh, he has been sentenced to 3.5 years, 42 months in prison by federal judge Lewis Kaplan, um, who was also the judge presiding over Virginia Roberts' civil case against Prince Andrew, uh, a case which I covered in detail on my channel. So this particular trader had three specific funds that he used to funnel people's money in with hopes and expectations of high returns. And of course, just like most of these crypto scams, he failed. OK, and um, like I've said before, the entire uh, this alternative currency system is, in my opinion, a scam. Do not fall for it. OK, their whole war against fiat currencies is going to fail. Uh, Bitcoin and all other currencies just took a huge dive two days ago. Uh, millions of uh, people lost millions of dollars and their homes. Um, many, many uh, seniors have been tricked into buying this stuff by idiots online who claim that they can make passive income uh, very easily. And these uh, these people end up losing their homes. I personally know of uh, one specific senior who lost uh, more than thirty five thousand uh, dollars on uh, on these scams. And uh, she has now lost her home. So just some warning before you get into this stuff, do a lot of research. So Spence was running three funds, the coin signals uh, bit. Bitmex fund, the Coin Signals Alternative Fund, and the Coin Signals Long Term Fund. They were all created and operated by Spence. Investors would then transfer cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum to Spence to make investment. The catch was that Spence falsely claimed that uh, that the trades were generating high returns, leading interested investors to transfer additional funds per uh, the court filings here, um, which all right here. So the Justice Department is charging him with the same crimes that Eddie Alexander uh, that we talked about in our previ previous video was charged with, which is commodities fraud and wire fraud. So they go on to explain exactly what he did here, but I'm going to give you guys a brief summary. The Justice Department accused Spence of soliciting cryptocurrency worth more than $5.37 million at the time for more than 170 different individuals. Uh, to cover up net losses from these investors, Spence tried to deceive them with uh, fictitious account balances to keep raising money. Spence also used the new funds to obtain uh, fresh crops of investors to cover up losses and pay out cash to old investors to keep the ruse going. So he was running a pyramid scheme, paying off old investors with new uh, new investors that were uh, giving him money by, by pretending he was making high returns when he was not. And he was falsifying account records as well, which is always a bad move because that leaves behind um, a trail that the Justice Department analysts can follow the people who go after these like, criminal accounting uh, tactics and they can you're you're leaving records so they're going to find it and they're going to use it against you and that's why he took a plea okay if he went to trial he would have gotten more time in prison and that's why i said in my last video that the eddie alexander guy will also be most likely be taking a plea because the prosecutors have the goods on him so it's uh, it's going to be smarter for him to take a plea than to go to trial because he's probably going to get more time if he goes to trial. Okay. The DOJ further added that Spence, rather than accurately reporting his losses, continued to falsify account uh, balances for investors, making them think that they were continuously making money when they were not. So he was lying to the faces of um, his investors. He was falsifying balances to make it seem like they were making money when they were not. Spence pleaded guilty to the crypto scam last November. Spence will have three years of supervised release and will have to pay restitution of 2.8 roughly million dollars after his release. Spencer's sentencing is the latest in a series of high profile crypto crimes that have come to light. This uh, February, rapper Heather Morgan and her husband Ilya Lichtenstein were accused of laundering 4.5 billion in stolen Bitcoin. Duo was arrested on February 8th at their apartment in New York uh, 
um, on charges related to the 2016 hack of the cryptocurrency exchange Bitfinex. So this is the latest example of another crypto scam and uh, lots of unsuspecting people are falling for this stuff. And uh, it's not just young people who are into crypto and are, uh, you know, Elon Musk bros, but also older people who want to make passive income. They're the ones who I'm most worried about and they're the ones who are going to lose all their savings and their, uh, you know, their only ability to live a decent life in retirement. They're the ones who are getting tricked into this because they're, they're convinced by stupid YouTubers, liars um, who, you know, exaggerate how my, how successful their crypto uh, currency career is going to be and they fall for this stuff and those are the people i feel most bad for uh, i personally know uh one person specifically who has fallen for this and lost thousands of dollars because of it so i have a personal experience uh and a personal uh axe to grind against these crypto scammers who ruin people's lives and that's why i cover these stories um and they're important okay so do not fall for these crypto scams you're not going to make easy money you're most likely going to lose all your money so do not buy into these alternative currency BS uh, stuff, okay? Because you're only going to lose money. You're not going to make money. And you don't know what is a scam because everybody's promising all kinds of returns. Some, that's the only way you're going to get any attention is by promising huge returns. And you don't know which one of them are legit and which ones are scammers, okay? So be careful out there when you're on the internet and when you're investing with these so-called, you know, alternative currencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. Because most likely you're going to run into one of these scams and you don't want to do that. So do some due diligence and research before you invest your hard-earned money because you might lose it all. And that's all I got to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, press all for future videos. And if you want to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. As always. Peace. Come in, Steel. Chief Judge Hershey, how did you know it would be me? Call it a hunch. You want to know what's happened to Dredd, isn't that right? Well, when I brought him in, well, they just took him away. I just wondered, I'm... I mean, I wanted to speak on his behalf. Speak on his behalf? Yes, Chief Judge. Judge Dredd has always been a role model for me. And I suppose for all the cadets, and judges, and... Well, this sleep machine psychosis, it wasn't his fault. There's no such thing as sleep machine psychosis. It was all a ruse to get Dredd close to the boss. A ruse? But what about the citizen he threatened and Dredd murdered Max Normal? All fake. Max is fine. Judge Davis was part of the plan. Kane's an undercover judge. An undercover judge? We had to keep you in the dark. It was necessary to maintain the illusion. The friends had infiltrated our comm system. But that was a terrible risk for Dredd to take. Oh, made much worse by you disobeying orders. Ah, but I didn't disobey orders. I, I couldn't hear them. Some problem with my helmet radio. All right. I'll deal with you later. I'm Enigma Smith, and here's the headlines. Mad judge disease is a hoax. The Justice Department dismissed reports of the illness as nonsense. Claims that Judge Dredd was suffering from the condition have also been denied. Dredd made a brief appearance tonight with Chief Judge Hershey. She announced a major victory over the Friends Crime Syndicate. More on this in our Good News, Bad News report at midnight.